At the foot, me you've cast. Abolish to your command.
I'm a wrong set. What do you want of me? You can try to win them all, but you won't. To the ground with you, pestilent filth! Gods, for this victory, both great and just. With Ake at their side, the Lyrians fell. Later, it was said the beast's dying wail, multiplied and strengthened as it passed through the caverns, could be heard as far as Spala. Your Grace, Many monarchs have I met in my time, yet none proved as virile in battle as did your majesty. Virile? I dislike the term. Seems not to suit a woman. I prefer valiant. Yet grateful I am. Now pray reveal, have you made your decision? Will you swear to serve me? Are you prepared to take an oath? I am not, your grace. I can serve only the gods. Yet, I do believe them to be on your side as one unjustly and treacherously attacked. Thus I see nothing wrong in assisting you. Then I am content and welcome you in my ranks, Sir Ake of Donnell. The knight errant bowed low from the waist. So low, in fact, the gambeson neath his mail creaked. Meave could only hope he would battle Nilf Guardians as boldly as he faced beasts. Lord, mother, look upon these stricken souls what suffered evil. Te Your Grace? Farewell, Ake.
They live yeah, our own land, Charlie. Abolist in your command.
Her Majesty is exceptional.
Neve had ridden out of Lyria in early spring, her retinue modest, as none larger was needed for the brief summit of sovereigns. She returned now to her capital, at the head of an army that dragged behind it bandits and Nilfgaardian prisoners in chains. The whole city came out to greet her. Its traders, craftsfolk, priests. Also, her eldest son and heir, Prince Willem. A boy who, it seemed, might never be prepared to rule. Meave and Willem rode side by side past the cheering throngs, their faces frozen in regal smiles. It was not until they reached the castle stables that they found a corner in which to speak freely, candidly. Welcome home, Mother. Content I am to see you, to be sure. And I'm happy to see you. Though I dare say I'd have been much happier to witness you leading an army towards Dravagrad. Willem, I trusted you. Left the realm in your care. Indeed. And I, in turn, did my utmost to choose the best course for... Willem, don't be so damned courtly. There's no one else here. My son. Nilfgaard has invaded our home. We're at war. When rulers don't strive and don't choose. When rulers grab their swords and shields and ride out to defend their subjects. You didn't let me finish. All right. Say what you wanted to, please. I fear I'd be hasty, Mother, and I didn't want to be. When we got word of the invasion, the Lords convened at the castle. They demanded I hear them out. They wanted to give me counsel. If I'd rushed into the field to confront the foe, I'd, I'd have been half blind to the situation, not known all the options I had at my disposal. A ruler never knows all the options. Yet he must decide and act nonetheless. I need to prepare. I'll see you at the Council of Peers. And indeed she did, when the Peers convened in the throne room. Surrounded by animal hides and Zeracanian tapestries, the Lord stood in tense silence, awaiting the Queen. When her figure filled the doorway, they fawningly prostrated themselves. We've myriad matters to resolve, so I trust you're well rested. Whatever the case, I've no doubt we shall meet the dawn afore we're done. Firstly, we must ask assistance. Pen a letter to King Demavend. Scribe, take this down. Dear... What? Uncle? Cousin? Blast. Again. I, Meave, by the God's grace, Sovereign of Rivia and... Your grace? Mother. The peers and I, we've come to propose another solution. Yes. Out with it. We wish to acknowledge Nilfgaard's authority. Pledge fealty to the Emperor. I beg your pardon. The black-clad hordes outnumber our forces manyfold, and they're far better equipped. We stand not the slightest chance against them in open. You will not lecture me about Nilfgaard's army, my son. All you know of them you garnered from coloured renderings, whereas I faced them at Dravagrad. I faced them and crushed them. But your grace, the losses. For this fleeting victory in which you delight, how many of your subjects had to perish? Bend a knee afore the Emperor, and you shall spare thousands. Nay, never! Understood, Caldwell, not ever! I'd hoped to persuade you, but it seems I've failed. Nonetheless, the die has been cast. We've signed the accord with Nilfgaard. Our noble lord stand with me. The blood left Meave's face. She had realized her son, who had ever professed to detest politics and shirked his duties as crown prince, had just stabbed her in the back, as had her entire court. What is this? Treason to my eyes! The gallows is what awaits you! Willem rules Lyria now, and should you not acquiesce and approve the accord, I fear only you, milady, shall have the pleasure to meet the hangman. Don't get ahead of yourself, Caldwell. My mother will not be harmed. Not one hair on her head. Understood? Confine the Queen to the tower. You err deeply, my son. The Queen was confined to a cell. Gilded armor she had traded for a simple robe. A courtly retinue for a swarm of rats. She was the very picture of misery. 
At the window of her cell, gripping the bars, Meave stood powerless, her anger so great she wept and wailed. Have I come at a bad time? Demons take you, Coldwell. You've long been at this scheme, haven't you? You left the strays of Sparla to roam the realm, to forage, so that I would have to look to them. And thus gained your cohorts the time they needed to complete Lyria's sail to Nilfgaard. You've seen through it all, that's clear. After the fact, of course. But still... <laughs> Villem. You turned him. How? The boy's not fit to wear the crown. Hasn't sufficient wit nor valour. I know this. You know this. Just... he knows it not. Willem fancied himself a statesman. Wished terribly to prove he was one. I made it possible. I've been amply rewarded, I have. Palatine since just yesterday, in fact. You'll have neither my blessing nor congratulations. Sorry to disappoint you. I seek neither. I've come for another reason, to bid you adieu. Willem does not seek your death, does not even fathom it, as you well know. Moreover, his resolve will wilt in time, and he'll wish to free you. So, come the morn, when the young king rides out to pledge fealty for General Epdahi, you shall use your bed linens to hang yourself. I see. You wish to see me bow before you, lie prostrate, beg you for mercy, plow yourself with a pike, Coldwell. And you needn't send your thugs. I'll not falter nor hesitate. I'll take my own life. Adieu, your grace. And use your last evening wisely. Meave felt a rush of despair, yet bit her lip to mute any weeping. No. She would not give Caldwell the satisfaction. Morning arrived with the sound of footsteps in the corridor. Neve rose from her cot and stood in the center of her cell. She was prepared for anything. Well, nearly anything. The, the Duke of Dogs? Titles seem senseless under the circumstances, don't you think? Let's forgo them. I'm Gascon. Has Caldwell sent you? To kill me? A no and a no. Actually, you're free. How shall I put this? That cad, Count Caldwell, used yours truly and the strays as bait in a scheme aimed at kicking your shapely backside off your throne. Now, I'm hardly vindictive. First to forgive, in fact. Take your threat to send me to the gallows. Forgotten already. Yet being played for a fool, I cannot abide. So when the strays freed me, I knew what I'd do to spite the Count before I disappeared. I'd free you. That's to say, on one condition. You've got to request it of me, my lady. Courteously. For my realm I will do this, and much, much more. Even bower for a brigand. Thus I beg you, Gascon, Duke of Dogs, grant me my freedom. Ha! Incredible! I've lived to see someone grovel with dignity. The true ruler you've got to be. You are free. I'm grateful. Now please let me pass. I must get to the city jail at once. Would you look at this woman? Free her from one prison, she flies off to the next. They hold Reynard there. And if I've any ally left, anyone who's not betrayed me, it's him. I must get him out. Old my lady. Unarmed. Alone. Have I any other option? Hmm, in a sense. See, they locked a few strays in the city pits too. Got a common cause, I'd say. Care to join forces? The Queen took Gascon up on his offer. Then she, Gascon and the strays snuck through the city to its dungeon. Reynard had not wavered for a moment in his devotion to the Queen. Never the slouch, he had also not lost any time. I've inquired among the other arrested soldiers. Many are prepared to fight. Yet in leaving the jail, the company ran into trouble. 
When Caldwell's cutthroats had failed to find Meave in her cell waiting for her secret execution, they had informed the Count. He, in turn, dispatched patrols into the streets. The Queen and her cohorts ran into one such unit. At last. We shan't help them, though. Gascon? Bloody hell, where'd he get to? Your Grace, we must make haste. Caldwell's roused the whole city by now. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. A time to sow, and a time to die. Sod it. Sod it all. I think I'd leave you just like that, did you? Honestly, I did. Don't like this. Is a waste of time for one like me. Your Grace, what guarantee do we have that they won't stab us in the back? Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. This could hurt. Oh, oh, Lady Margarita told us of this.
this eyes, we'll be reaping black clad heads. Thank you, Gascon. You and your men, for your aid. Tis now, my lady. Strays never say no to a proper brawl. No brawl this was. Sun rising against Mother. Lyrian striking at Lyrian. I fear a blood war's begun. Come now. Seems to me the war's ended. Your realm's lost to Nilfgaard. You've no army to speak of. Then I shall assemble a new one. And with it have Caldwell hanged and drive Nilfgaard back across the Yoruga. <laughs> You're mad! How will you find the men? Riding from hamlet to hamlet, speaking from atop a crate? No. I shall find them in Edurn. I've a favour to call in with King Demavend, and I'll sway volunteers to my cause on the way. Well, you've your first willing warriors already. How so? We've nothing left in Lyria. Our hideouts are compromised, Caldwell sure to set a price on our heads, and Nilfgaardians roam the land in numbers. Besides, I'll be right tickled to see proud Queen Me fighting elbow to elbow with a bandit she'd wish to hang just a half day afore. Well, it is said my foe's foe is my friend, and I'd be a fool to turn down assistance now, no matter who offers. So be it. Very high-minded of you, my lady. So, shall we shake on't? Nay? Well then, the high road beckons. Though first we must escape the city with our lives. Follow me. Lyria was hers no more. Meave now had to flee her capital and realm as quickly as she could. Wont to travel the city streets in a gilded carriage, the Queen now saw them from a slightly different vantage point. <sighs> Is this the only way? Are you quite certain? The Queen is a common fugitive now, so she'd do better to pinch her nose and whinge not at all. At long last, Meave reached the gate. Yet this she found shut tight. Locked and guarded. Gods be damned! Easy, Your Grace. Nothing we can't solve with a quiver full of quarrels. Those are our men. They were, Reynard, were. Gascon's raiders were poised to loose their bolts, but were thwarted when the Queen stepped out in front of them. What she... Your Majesty, I... I've orders to arrest your grace. Place me in irons, then. Please understand, I, I haven't a choice. Fear not, you'll be rewarded by Coldwell in Nilfgaardian Florence. The captain's head dropped. His cheeks burned crimson. Go, your grace. Flee now, but only to return. Remember this, Gascon. I'm no fugitive. I'm a queen robbed of a rightful crown. And though I may need to venture to the world's end before I return, I shall have it back. Having fled Lyria, Queen Meave ventured into Edir, her old friend Reynard and new ally Gascon at her side. The war had bitten into this land too. Still, Meave hoped to sway King Demavent to her cause and, with his aid, to oust the traitors, retake her throne and drive the Nilfgaardian invader from her realm. Yet to start, she was forced to fight 
Scoia'tael no less. Emerging from a wood, Meave's retinue encountered a unit of elven rebels just moments from hanging a handful of prisoners. Among the latter, the Queen spotted a woman, a proud warrior with a striking, thick black braid. The lass I believe I know. Well, unless we rush to her rescue, it'll soon be you knew her. Well said. Lyrians, attack! Breathe, Your Grace. We must rush to our aid. Thing about slings, they hide well. Prepare to fight, if you've any honor. shall tread on us! The elves! Scatter them! They block our path! Watch your heads! <laughs> You're serious?
catch! Scoia'tael warriors shocked the Queen with their speed, their cunning, and their cruelty. Yet in the end, the Lyrians prevailed. When the last elf hit the ground, the Queen had her men untie those they'd sought to hang. A thousand thanks, Your Grace. Her many tales of your valor. Pleased to see there weren't just flattery and propaganda. I'm... Black Rayla. Hage, we saw you there. You command King Demaven's special forces. That's right. Though not many remain to command. So I see. How did it come to this? My liege sent me to wipe out a Scoia'tael band, led by a rat called Eldane. Followed the vermin's tracks for several days, straight into his trap, turned out. Hunting elves in the woods. Truly inspired, I must say. Had no choice. Doing nothing would have brought a surer, swifter doom. The Black Cloud have invaded Edern, thanks to elven aid. They snap our supply lines, lurk like dogs, prey on vulnerable units and scouts. You mean to say Nilfgaard's broken your defences? Aye. Though their march will soon halt, believe me. To advance, they'll have to take Rosberg, a stronghold that's yet to fall once. They'll break against its walls like waves upon the rocks. While Edern stands, the North is not yet lost. I'll convey your grace's words to the king at the first occasion. I'd rather hope to convey them myself. I have come to Edern seeking aid. I wish to ask Demavend for support. The King is in Rosberg, overseeing siege preparations. I'm heading that way too to report on our skirmish with the Scoia'tael. I might serve as your guide. These lands are no better than any. Excellent. Guide on. <laughs> <laughs> 